Hello, this is Aaron with iBoard Repair, and today I'm going to be showing you the live diagnosis and repair of an iPhone 12 Pro motherboard that's in here for data recovery. Um, this customer stated that this phone has just died spontaneously and they did nothing to it. It just stopped working on its own. And I've already removed the screen and taken a look at the inner components and uh, nothing's jumping out. But my first step when I'm diagnosing these boards is to take my DC power supply probes and uh, see what they're telling me when I tell the phone to boot. So when I prompt the phone to boot by pressing the power button, I get a small amperage spike, as you can see. Uh, this usually indicates uh, normally a power rail failure. Uh, normally I'll find like a shorted power rail, but that's not always the case. Something is just preventing this CPU from turning on. So my job is to figure out what that is. Um, my first step when I'm working with this is to usually assume that I have a shorted power rail. It could also be like a, a loose boost coil, but checking power rails is always a good first step. And my NAND power rails are already on this top layer and exposed. I checked these uh, earlier and they were fine, but I can show you again. I have my 2v6 line, my 1v2 line, and my uh, OV9 line. So this is my 2v6, it looks normal. My 1v2 looks normal, and my OV9 all looks normal. So a NAND short is not the problem in this case. That's a very common problem, so I'd like to check that first. Um, but I've done as much as I can with just the screen taken off, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this motherboard out of the housing, and uh, we can diagnose it further. Okay, with the motherboard out of the housing, I wanna make sure I still have the same behavior. And it looks like I do. So I still wanna go off the assumption that I have a bad power rail. So I'm gonna expose the area around the PMIC and start checking those, those lines. So here's the PMIC, but we should take a look at our board view software. So I have my 12 Pro open and uh, we should look at as many power rails as we can. Typically, I like to try to find uh, any power rails that have a coil connected to the PMIC as well as the CPU. And those in general are, are good lines to check. Other good lines are going to be uh, RAM. So 1V8S2 is our RAM line, as well as 1V1 or 1V06. And OV6 is another good one to check. There it is. Those are just some of the lines. There's a, there's a lot to check, but those are my general rules. NAND, RAM, and PMIC outputs. It is also possible that this is a sandwich issue. Um, so we'll get to that if we check all of these and uh, it doesn't solve it. Okay, most of the power rails seem to be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and split the sandwich here and uh, let's take a look at the more inner components. I have my heating platform here set to uh, 235, 230. And this will take some time to reach the proper temperature. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back with you once it's ready to split. Okay, this looks like it's ready to pull. So everything looks normal. 
I'm just going to make sure the boost coil is on here firmly. Then I think I'll just retest it, see if the amp is still the same now that it's split. Boost coil fell off. Yeah, so this is a common problem on the 12 Pro. That's why I knew to kind of check here. And uh, yeah, I just need to uh, get a new one of these on here and uh, this will turn on again. I'll be able to pull data. So this is good. This is quite an easy one. I'm glad to see this. And uh, this is one of the more common problems I see on this model. So I, I need to check here just from experience. I've seen this problem many times. So in general, a small spike or, or even no amp draw before prompt to boot or after prompt to boot usually means either a bad power rail and checking NAND first is always uh, just the most convenient because NAND is usually right on top. And uh, on the 12 Pro series specifically, or even the 12 Pro Max, um, the boost coil is always the next thing I check. And uh, the boost coil is for the boost circuit that uh, boosts the voltage when it goes low and the phone doesn't work without that, without that circuit present. I'll just take this boost coil from this 11 Pro. So now that that boost coil is on there, I should have a normal amp draw when I prompt this phone to boot. So let's check that out before we are getting a small spike. And now this already looks much better and uh, I don't even need to wait. I'm sure it's booting. So the 12 Pro, I can pull data with just a top board only. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll grab my parts and I'll show you that it's turning on and then uh, that will be that. So let's see if it turns on. There's our Apple logo. And 
there it goes. Looks like it booted up. I'll unplug it for now because I don't have a computer free to take the data, but it is booting. And it went dim just because proximity sensor isn't plugged in. And uh, I've been away a little bit. I haven't been making too many videos because I've been very busy, uh, but I want to start making them again. Um, but I do in general do live demonstrations. So I just chose this phone out of my queue and I'm not really sure how it's going to go. Uh, in this case, it was the boost coil, which is a pretty common problem on the 12 Pro. Uh, many people still don't know about it, however. So showing how the DCP DC power supply reacts um, when we have this problem before the problem's fixed is a uh, is a good symptom to know. So um, just a very small spike. And if you if you miss it, it almost looks like it does nothing. So that's what the DC power supply does um, when we have a boost coil that's loose. So the customer is going to have access to their photos now and they're going to be very happy. And uh, this went great. So thanks for watching this. Hope you have a good one. Bye.